Everyone in this room can name real journalistic heroes. Brave people like Rukumani Kalamaki and C.J. Chivers at the Times, Kathy Gannon of AP, who's being honored here tonight, Dexter Filkins, Rania Abuzaid, and John Lee Anderson at our place. It's a long, distinguished list. And yet, the men and women of Raqqa is being slaughtered silently are somehow singular. For them, there is no refuge. Home is absolute hell. They work in secret and under constant threat reporting on the depredations of ISIS in their home city. The executions and crucifixions, the rapes, unbearable cruelties of home. To say nothing of the special cruelties of Bashar al-Assad's own regime. Some have fled in fear for their own lives. Even in exile, they are in no way safe. One of the group's leaders, Ibrahim Abid al-Qadr, was murdered last month in Turkey. Abroad and inside Raqqa, the men and women of Raqqa is being silently sla slaughtered silently, demand our loud and constant support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting us here today and giving us the chance to say a few words. I speak today on behalf of millions of Syrians who are looking for a free, democratic, and united country. I'm deeply sad for my beautiful country is suffering greatly from regime fever and the cancer of terrorism, so greatly that I fear its spirit will melt. We are caught between two aggressive and brutal forces. The first is criminal regime obsessed with power climbing to fight against terrorism by killing children. The second spurts evil and injustice and bends our nation black. Each of them consider us criminals because we are disclosing their actions to the world. Now, the mere mention of the name of Raqqa as being sought as silently has become a crime punishable by death. Members of Raqqa as being sought as silently are no different from any one of you. We love our home and we have ambitions and dreams of raising a family and living happily. We walk through peaceful means to combat the dark forces, and our publications have a great impact in, in planting signs of peaceful resistance. We carry out graffiti campaigns on the walls inside the, the, most, the most dangerous strongholds of ISIS, attempting to prove to the world that we will defeat arms with thoughts. Maybe we are not a, prof a professional journalist. Maybe we are only citizen journalists. We don't care a lot about labels. We just want to prove ourselves on the ground as forces facing the most brutal regime, Assad, and the most dangerous organization, ISIS. Let me illustrate the size of our suffering. This beautiful city, New York, has a population of about eight and a half million people. Imagine that more than two million people were forced to flee and the city had no teacher, no doctor, no postman. People watched the suffering in Syria and they believe that's far away from them, but the distance from Damascus to Rome is almost the same as from here to Miami. The evil, which began in Syria will not stop there. The power of good that is given to us by God should be used to confront the evil. 
I accept this award on behalf of those Syrians who have been silenced and those who are suffering in order to build a free and democratic country. They do not need just an award, but they certainly need your help. We dedicate this award to our martyrs, Mu'taz Billah Ibrahim, Ibrahim Abdul Qadir, Ad Muhammad Al Musa, the father of our co founders, Hamoud Al Musa, is here with us. We also dedicate this award to our friends who gave their lives Paris Hamadi, Bushra Saadu, Faisal Habib, Rakan Al Nizi, and Atal Al Khalaf. Finally, we dedicate this award to undercover heroes of our campaigns and our co founders, Sarmatis in Turkey, and to the entire people of the city of Raqqa. Thank you.